epic is this? So we're in the middle of a hong. Hong's the next level, hey. They're just in a class of their own. like nothing else. We've got these conical cast islands and uh, they're just sticking out of, the, out of the water and they're covered in bushes and it just go, it just drops off into deep water all around them but then there's like the little pockets inside some of them with little beaches so there's lots of little hidey holes with uh, beautiful areas um, so yeah we're just uh, having a look around and admiring this beautiful landscape. The water is just this emerald green that's just so pretty. Yeah, it looks really beautiful and yeah, it's such a pretty place. Hey buddy! Angie chugging along bright and early this morning at first light here. It's a bit of a game of always trying to beat the tourists. So we're going down to Koh Hong, and this place is meant to be the biggest Hong in, in Thailand, as far as I understand. So we're just gonna race down there. It's like six in the morning now. We'll pick up a mooring. All the tourists arrive at like 8.30, 9-ish. So hopefully we can grab a mooring out the front there and sneak in and have a good good look around and play before anyone rocks up. That's the game plan. Then we'll just sit there safely on a mooring for the day and then wait for everyone to leave again in the afternoon. This island looks pretty amazing from satellite images, so if it lives up to that, then... It looks like we've beaten all the tourists this morning. There is a uh, fast boat coming back on over so let's go get inside and have a look at this. Better first ones. Yeah. This is next level way, this entrance is next level. Alright. What? That is so awesome. How crazy is this? Oh man. Wow. is this so we're in the middle of a hong so there's like rocks all around us and we're in the middle <laughs> I think that must be an osprey nest there's like lots of twigs and stuff in those little um, tiny caves in the side of the hong yeah and there's there's big ospreys flying around Ospreys like to um, have their nests in really high positions and so they have their babies up there and um, yeah they have like a bird's eye view so they can hunt as well. Generally if there's a big tree like one tree on top of a hill they'll have their nests in that tree. Um, yeah and so yeah as high as it can be so sometimes they end up having them um, in really unusual places like at the top of a pole or something like that so yeah they like to have the full bird's eye view top of the food chain, top of the sky. I reckon this is the perfect place for a little morning wash. So quiet, eh? Hey? say half of the fun when you go exploring like this in the tender is just trying to put flubber into these little corners. <laughs> Hong's the next level, hey, they're just a, in a class of their own. That thing's pretty crazy.
Just in time. I think they're coming from everywhere now. So we did well getting up early and coming to see these sorts of things before anyone gets there. Just see, really get the vibe. Beautiful place. We've been having a lot of fun exploring some of the islands amongst the green waters of Pung Na Bay, but with wind forecast for the day, we thought we would sail in search of some clearer waters to dive around the southern outer islands of Thailand. The sailing is super fun around Thailand when the wind is up as there is zero swell and often fast smooth sailing is had, and this day was one of them. sail is blocking some of the head sail so I'm gonna drop that and see if we can uh, pick up a bit more speed. speed. There's lots of moorings around these islands and I can see one here. It might be a bit close into those rocks though but we want to get the protection from this island. If you got the front bottom look for reef, we'll sneak up to that mooring and see if we how we go. sailing back down in Chelong into Phuket because we need to clear out already. We've been here for four weeks and you're only allowed 30 days if you're clearing by boat. If you're a captain, passengers are allowed up to 60. You can extend but it's a little bit harder for the captain. So yeah, we're going to go back to Chelong and clear out and then head down to Langkawi, just do a visa run down there, go get our bottom paint, the same stuff we used last time, get some cheese, get some beer, turn around and come back again. We hope you enjoyed another episode of Sailing Nanji. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we post new episodes. It's uh, a free and easy way of helping support Sailing Nanji and helping us to continue to create these videos to post on YouTube. So click that subscribe button. Get us to 100K, that's the goal. That's Come the on, goal. guys. That's the goal. We're nearly there. 
A big shout out to our patrons and a big shout out to this new crew that have jumped on board in the month of January, kicking off a big 2020 for Sailing Nanji. So cheers to you legends for, for joining up. Lou and Chloe, Davidi. 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 D Davidi, David, Wimbleway, Marine, Fong, Carl, and Laurent. Yeah, thank Thanks you guys very so much, much, legends. And cheers, Nick, for upping your pledge too, mate. Good on yep. you, man. All right, stay tuned for another episode. It's going to be coming out really soon, guys. They're coming out hot and heavy at the moment, so stay tuned. Woo! <laughs> See Catch you guys. later, legends.